Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Seven Deadly Sins, Chapter 334. We're reading this on um, readsevendeadlysins.com. So check that out if you haven't read the chapter and then come back here for this reaction. Or whatever you want to do. You know, I ain't got no control over you. Uh, let's see. No title just yet. The Mightiest of Alls. Alls. But already with the bad grammar. Final gift. Oh, okay. I thought they were going to say like he falls. Cause I my cursor was right over part of final, so yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mightiest of all's a final gift. Oh look, it's a, it's the axe Rita. Oh. The end of an era. Ah yes. That that was the name of the title. Oh, double spread. We're we're in Leonis. The sun, the storm went away. We survived. Oh, he brought the sun. Praise the sun. Uh, the Aztecs praised it, so you praise it. Uh, if it was good enough for them over five hundred years ago. It's good enough for you, punks. Anyway, um, you know all the Escanor haters out there. They're like, play, praise the moon. Um, anyway. Let's see, we survived. That terrifying aura just vanished like it was nothing. Oh, it's Jerry Cho. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a while. Um, this has to be. And there's Hendrickson. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, overall, he's a good guy, but, you know, it, it's just hard sometimes to fully forgive what he did in the beginning of the series so just seeing his face just as like demon um yeah, yeah they managed to pull it off sir hendrickson jerry cho oh uh i always mess up her name gola i don't why can't i ever say her name i need to watch the anime more and they probably don't even pronounce it right uh Gilia and Sir Dreyfus. Uh, let's go back to the kingdom together. Okay, so they rode in on horses. To be honest, it almost looks like there was a third person, but that's just trees. Because um, this image is small. Let's see if this actually makes the image... Ooh, it considerably made the image bigger. Okay, well that's good enough. Um, hmm. Let's see, yeah. Uh, that was just the tree in the background. Uh, oh God, Leona's castle looks uh, looks a bit dark. Looks like someone forgot to pay the electrical magic bill. Uh, Your Majesty, huff huff. What what is it? The seven deadly sins. It's six devin seven deadly uh, six deadly sins. You fool. Have defeated the demon king. Princess Elizabeth is safe, too. You you would think he would have led with that first, because you know he... Ah, uh, well... No, because then... Yeah, I'd lead with the Demon King. Yeah. Thank goodness. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, thank goodness. I swear that man's gonna drop dead before the end of this series. Oh, he... He, he raises a fist in... Victory! Uh... Let us welcome the se Quit calling them seven deadly sins. They don't know the horrors of what have already transpired this day. Quit reminding me. <laughs> um, let the seven deadly sins back to the kingdom. We will all remember this day as the new anniversary of Britannia by holding a festival. Oh. So... Okay, so you're going to do the festival now, or next year you're going to start? Because that is a lot of work to be had. In. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you got our knight trio. You got the princesses. You got the, I guess knights. Yeah, they're probably all knights. So the, the messenger. He, I think he's about to tell the the bad news he's the opposite of professor farnsworth bad news everyone it's the six deadly sins now um 
King, I think he's picking up on it. And uh oh. Gil Thunder and the others are starting to look, so they're like, um, is, is something wrong? Wait, Gil, where the hell are you going? Your childhood hero is coming back. You should at least come and greet him. Oi, I told you to wait. What, what's wrong? He's crying. Gil, oh, is it because he's going to have to leave? Is, is that, is that the case? Because I feel like, did Meliodas tell him that? Or did he find out? It, it's been a while since that was really brought up, so I'm, I'm kind of really vague on it now. What happened to Lord Escanor was truly heart-rendering. Oh, so they... Okay, so the messenger did tell them. That, that's... Oh. Just thinking about what they are experiencing right now. I don't even know what I should tell them. Yeah, me neither. Then... How about the three of us get drunk for the night? Yeah, I'll explain to the majesty... Or to the majesty. To your majesty, you, you damn lowly knights. <laughs> uh, whatever, I'm sure he's fine with the bad grammar. Um, thanks, guys. I still can't believe it. One of the legendary seven deadly sins actually died. Well, he was also the most human of you all. Of them all. So, yeah... Uh, and so they're going out to drink, honoring Escanor with a pint. Um, I'm, I'm, him dying is almost comparable to having Hauser die. Uh, why me? <laughs> I, I don't need any more characters dying, thank you very much. It, I don't even want to think about it. It's just an example, don't take it too seriously. <laughs> In your line of work, it is serious. Lord Escanor's determination to put his life on the line was real. Up until the very end, he kept a smile and laughed while standing up for us. That type of resolve is something not everyone has. At least Guild Thunder's definitely given Escanor his props. Man, he's so cool. How's there your, 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 you could have a bit more solemnness to your praise. Um... Someday I'll be the same, going out like that, like a saint. You... Okay, how's her? No. You, you bad night, bad night. Um, cocky, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, you keep him in his place, Grimoire. Cut it out, the both of you. But seriously, though, I'm sure you'll make it happen. After all, he did say that the future of the youth will be as bright as ever. Yes, because he shines down on you from above. Um, by the way, we were going to my place to drink, right? You're the one who brought it up, so that's obviously the case. Why wouldn't they go to a tavern? You know, like, if you're going to get drunk, I think you need a full stock of the stuff. You know? But, you know, like, full-on casks everywhere, and it's like, we're dedicating the night to Escanar. He was a barkeep, and we're about to put on the biggest tab that he would have ever seen. You know, something like that. That'd be kind of a cool way for him to be honored. Um, oh, but I feel like uh, going to Hauser's place. Not a chance. My parents will definitely get mad. The fact that he still lives with his parents... You're a knight, man. Um, what's the problem? I see. Now Grimoire, uh, has, yeah, doesn't want to see the secret child he's hiding in his place. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm hoping that's a joke, because, <laughs> oh. Baby out of wedlock, near in the way of a knight. Okay. I'm not really sure whose house this is, so I'm guessing it's Grimoire's. Um, to the seven deadly sins. The lion's sin of pride. And the tomorrow that they've protected. Oh, and I'll clink the glasses. Well, it's not even glasses, it's a whole damn bottle. <laughs> Taking their swigs. <sighs> so the war's finally over. Yeah, it's over now. Please stay hidden. Wait, what? He does have a child. What, what the hell? He's a... 
He's actually saying, please stay hidden. Oh, Lord. The people of Britannia can finally live without fearing the Demon King. With the gods being defeated, I wonder what kind of era will come next. They say the gods, but we still haven't dealt with the supreme deity. I mean, she cursed Meliodas, I doubt. Oh, his daddy's gone, so, um, I'll break his curse. Yeah, no. Um, or did he break his own curse? I swear, I, I don't remember. I think I brought that up in the last one. But maybe that's the thing. An era of peace, hopefully. Yeah, that's also an era of boringness for, you know militaristic people um i mean it's still a good thing don't get me wrong but you know a few years and you'll yeah <laughs> uh, that's too bad when the oh lo hello vivian <laughs> i wasn't expecting to see you dear um good boobage um when the balance of light and darkness crumbles oh god so uh the time of chaos follows oh lord um go thunder did i, I think you have a visitor hmm. v vivian y you still haven't given up no more or no more importantly i'm sure you were killed by uh, sir ludisho yeah like What's going on here? You're right. It happened on the celestial ruins. I fell after being pierced by that goddess saber. Yet, here I am, reborn like a phoenix and whirling around like a dervish. Um, the power of love, or through the power of love, of course. The power of love. Okay. I'm just, I'm just doing, you know, back to the future vibes, you know. Um, that's not an explanation. No, really isn't. I, I mean, I'm guessing the ruins had some kind of, like, revival or, like, healing properties, maybe? Or her magic tapped into something like that? I'm not sure. His thick and strong arms held me tight in a ritual. What? <laughs> and he desperately wanted me to answer him back. What, what now? Okay, this is the worst picture of Hauser I think we've ever seen. Then, was this done not by Nakaba? Um, what kind of idiot would say that to you? No way, don't tell me that he did it. Don't die, Vivian. Wait. Who is that? Kinda looks like Dreyfus, but like, is that Dreyfus? <laughs> like, face wise, it kinda looks like him, but the hair doesn't. Don't die, Vivian. And she's just kind of picturing like a JoJo esque kind of. <laughs> I guess that's Dreyfus, I don't know. Uh, Britannia cannot afford to lose a woman like you. No, it would be a far greater loss for me. Is it Dreyfus? <laughs> Yeah, he said something along the lines of this is too much. Way too much. Then he ha was on his knees begging Hendrickson to quickly heal her using a spell. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, God. And then he brought her into the house to take care of her. The ch oh, so that's who he was saying that. I hope she stays hid. Is she hid? <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, the truth is, my father also couldn't bear leaving her wounded and alone. Her actions against the kingdom were so severe that he doubted that any help would come to her. Oh. So, you're committing a crime by harboring a criminal. Good lord, the knights have hit an all-time low on <laughs> certain things. Uh, let's see. Ah. Also, thanks to the magic of that goddess, I'm finally free from that wretched, the, the wretched witch's curse. Yes. <laughs> now that's bad news. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's bad news, everyone. <laughs> Excuse me. 
So, Gil. What? Snap? What? Let's break up. Oh, <laughs> she found a new guy. So she's like, hey, you ain't good enough for me no more. Uh, let's break up. And she's like, boop, in the face. Did she tell? I think she teleported. Yeah, she did. Because Hauser's in between them. Now that my eyes have awoken thanks to true love, all I can see myself receiving is nothing but the purest of love. Why give love when I can just keep receiving it? That's not how love works. That's one side. That ain't a good relationship model. No, no, no. Um, poor Dreyfus. I have no idea what she's thinking. You alright? He doesn't give a crap. Why would Gilthunder care? He's already got Margaret. Um, Gil? He's just kind of staring. Wait, don't tell me that you actually fell in love with him. No. You can tell... You can call me mom from now on. Oh, God. Little Grimori. Oh, Lord. Little Grimori's like four times your size. And also, he I think he's older than you are. <laughs> or you're about the same age. Why the hell would he call you mom? Uh, Vivian? What do you mean earlier about this time of chaos? Yes, let's get to the actual important thing. Not this weird kind of cringy love. Um, what exactly is it? Oh, well, I don't really know much about it. Uh, to be honest, it's just something that I've heard her say a lot. When the balance of light and darkness crumbles. Okay, we're going to enlarge uh, this image. Well, that didn't bump it up too much. But, ah, uh, they're having a banquet. All, all the... Yeah, it seems to be, well, there's a lot of no-name people back there, too. But you got the king, you, you got, like, um, Slater and some of his members. What's left of, I think, the Azura Knights, at least one or two of them. You've got what remains of the, the Sins. Sad. They're, they're all, okay, Bon is kind of flipping off king, it looks like. I don't get it. Also, um... Oh! <laughs> I was like, what's going on with Meliodas? He's like clinking a, a bottle onto a bottle, but it has the mark... <laughs> it has Escanor's belt buckle symbol on it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna pour one out for the homies. Uh, oh, that's sad. And then the world shall be reborn anew. I don't seem to understand what you're saying. Then ask her yourself. Wait. So Merlin's been saying this for a long time. Presumably. She's still got the mark. You can see it while she's tipping up her glass. Uh, the boar's sin of gluttony. Merlin. Oh, there's going to be a break next week. To be honest, I thought this would have been a good time for a break week, you know? But, eh. Also, Arthur? What? Okay, so the Age of Chaos and everything's going to happen when, like, the balance of light and dark crumble. Well, I guess dark, or no, darkness lost in this, so light is more prevailing. So that balance is now shifted in light's favor, so now chaos is going to rule. Which, to be honest... When they're in balance, you would think things would be more in chaos. Because war. It's going to be more peaceful now. So, we're getting another arc? I mean, I guess I'm all for that. But, you know. I mean, it's a good thing we're addressing Arthur again. Though, there was a chapter a little ways back that kind of hinted at him. You know? Like the Lady of the Lake and all that kind of stuff. That legend and yeah so I'm guessing that's going to happen uh, but what's the say on the side the woman who is said to be too late to turn back the boar's sin of uh, gluttony the era begins to shift forward with the king's death as the catalyst wait what <laughs> oh, are you talk oh I think they're talking about Arthur's death okay because <laughs> I was like Bartra <laughs> we, we don't want to lose him. He good guy. <laughs> I, well, we lost Escanor, and he was good guy, so the, you know, 
whatever. The, the good guys die. They die too young. Um, anyway, next chapter, 335, What the Magician Has Been Seeking. Okay, and that was probably what she's seeking is revival time. Um, hmm. This is an interesting one. It it definitely is setting up another arc, which, I, you know, I was kind of on the fence at this point, really. Like, I wanted another arc, but I was like, are we really going to get one at this point? Because, like, it's like, you know, when you get the end of an era, like, that could have been, like, this could technically be almost like the last or next to last chapter, you know, coming up. Or is it like setting up like just like the a true epilogue, you know, like end of an era and then you like time skip a little bit and you get like new characters and you're like the, vi you know, the village, <laughs> the country of Britannia and the world abroad is you know, protected by these new, you know, young generation and everything. That would have worked probably just as fine, I guess. Because, to be honest, that the series does have a lot of problems. But overall, I still enjoy it. Um, but yeah, this whole thing about Vivian coming back, like, that, to be honest, I almost forgot about her as a character. So she really ain't playing that big of a role, you know? I mean, she had, like, those few little bits earlier on in the series, especially when she kidnapped Gil Thunder and, you know, and played a role then, but that was about it. I wasn't expecting her to come back. Um, and now she's in love with Dreyfus, because he pleaded for her to be able to live, so... Well, I guess she really wasn't injured that badly after all. It would have been probably better had they brought her back through other magical means, but... And this is probably better because I can imagine quite a few people being pissed off. It's like, oh, she was brought back by some bullshit, you know? So, yeah, I could I could see that. Um, hmm. But yeah, the, there was definitely some nice moments, you know, like the, the that group shot near the end, you know, everyone having a drink, enjoying and celebrating the victory, even though one of their own is now gone. And the, like, it was a nice moment. It was a sad moment, but a nice moment as well with Gil Thunder and, like, with the the word that Escanor had perished and, you know, so he was actually crying and everything. So good that he actually did feel that much for Escanor. I mean, he probably would do the same thing for any of the sins. He might have cried even more openly if it was Meliodas, you know, but still it's good that he shows this emotion for presumably any of them should the worst have happened so that, that's a good point for Gil Thunder because he was a very cold character earlier in the series so like for him to openly show emotions to well I say openly I mean like at least to his two closest friends so that's a that's a nice point for him also their talk of like you know they're gonna essentially become the new youth and everything like Escanor had mentioned. It was like, you know, you'll have to be the protectors in the future, you know, kind of deals. So, yeah. Interesting things brought up in this, now this thing of chaos. And it's like, hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord, what is going to happen? I have no idea. Maybe we'll finally get to see the Supreme Deity. Because I'm sure... We'll probably maybe see more Goddess Clan members coming into the world now that there's not, like, as much of a resistance via the demons and other things. Maybe whatever's keeping them from, you know, this plane of existence will be broken and they can coexist and everything and something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, um... I think I've rambled on long enough about my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you thought. Anything I missed, misunderstood, let me know down below. Um, check out my live reactions, my video reactions. I'm always taking suggestions for both. Um, in part for the live reactions for videos, let me know what they are. If you have one in mind, is it like a TV, a movie, whatever, that kind of thing. Uh, let me know so I can get the right graphic in there. Um, the uh, I'm I'm stream on Twitch 
fairly regularly uh, with games and I then upload them to YouTube fairly quickly uh, so go check that out um, follow all my social medias and all that so that you know when those go live and when other things go up on the channel and uh, yeah I'm part of a few podcasts the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel go check out his channel um, and the weekly manga podcast that I co-host with Griever. Go check out his channel. And, uh, yeah, that's about all of that. So, uh, as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keishlings, roll out!